What's up guys welcome back to Roams for you. Today let's look at latest web project version 1.0.6 official build running on Xiaomi Poco X3 Pro. The update is from November 22nd. So As you see the UI is pretty much smooth and responsive. So to begin with let's quickly get into about phone session. Android version is 12. We project version is 1.0.6 beta. I am not so sure why it is still under beta where they mentioned as official. Android security patch they are using is from 5th November 2021. The stock kernel is present and it is called as something like Zelda, which is based upon Linux 4.14 kernel. SC Linux is by default enforcing in this build. When you come to system settings, system update option is available. Developer option is by default enabled in this build. You will be able to check about your OTA from update session. Moving forward under security session, the ROM does comes out with screen lock, fingerprint and more. Fingerprint here is faster enough. Out of the box, the ROM is encrypted, but the ROM does miss us face unlock feature as of now. Moving forward under system settings, dark theme switching option is available. And there is also option to enable refresh rate. Yes, this is your screen refresh rate, not the game FPS rate. You will be also able to set the minimum and maximum refresh rate from here. Other options like screen shaver, tap to wake are available. Under battery settings, there is pixel thermal profiles available. You will be able to select your appropriate thermal from here. There is also option for enabling or disabling battery percentage notification on status bar. When you come to QS panel, there is option for screen recorder. After selecting edit button, you will be able to add or remove more tiles into the list. You will be also able to change between refresh rate from here as well. Next is let's quickly check how does this screen recorder work. Screen recorder here is capable of recording internal audio and microphone at a time. After enabling the screen recorder, I did notice major lags in app opening and closing animation, which is a known bug under Android 12 based ROMs. Swiping from home screen, you will be able to access Google Feed. Google Feed here is pretty much responsive to navigate. The 120Hz display is one of the reasons behind it. After enabling voice recognition for the Google Assistant, I was able to call out the Assistant from on screen as well as lock screen without any issues. Google Assistant here is very much responsive, which is something great. The reason menu does include screenshot and swiping from left to right clear all option as well. Both these options work without any issue. Out of the box, the ROM does comes out with Google Go as its default camera application. The application is capable of doing its all basic job. Features like photo, portrait, video are present here. If you want more features, you may need to rely on Gcam or any ANX cams. Out of the box, the ROM does pass us safety net checks. And when you come to Google Play and settings, Google Play protection is also present. HC Linux is also enforcing in this build, so almost all the security side this ROM passes. You won't be facing any issues with banking application for sure. When talking about benchmarks, under 2 scores 5,40,000 plus. Geekbench scores for single core 774 and multi core 2455, which are decent scores for Snapdragon 860. To understand more about performance, I did do a 30 minute CPU throttling test. The result was not the best around. The ROM did manage to keep up the graphs almost all the time in green. And there is no major drops noticed in graphs as well. Overall, the ROM did manage to pull up 2 lakh plus as its average GIPS value. So next is gaming test, BGMI with smooth plus extreme settings. 
I did even tried HD plus extreme in this build and the result was not that much great. Even though I didn't notice any major lags with close combat, I was facing lags in scope opening and closing animations, which is something irritating when you are in middle of a CDS game. So I prefer to play smooth plus extreme settings in this build. Anyway, it is always safe that you should select a minimum graphics for your Poco X3 Pro, where the phone itself is very much vulnerable. Nearby days, we have heard many Poco S3s are getting back-to-back -back heartbreak. No one knows the real reason behind it. But almost all the devices which are heartbreak was used by gamers. So it is better always be little bit cautious about it and make sure that you are giving proper cooling to your device. It is always recommended that not to make your POCO X3 Pro too much warm. Anyway, this room was pretty much smooth enough as a daily driver and when it comes to performance as well. You can consider this room without any issue. I didn't notice any touch lags or any other issues with this room. So that's it guys, this is all about Weep OS latest build. Hope this video was helpful to you. Like and shares are always appreciated. Subscribe if you are new here. And I'll catch you in next one.